Sorry. Are you ready for another book match from my book? Twenty three types of guys you might meet on social media. Today's reading is going to be when a man comes up to you, my beloved sisters, is a sister strawberry. God see. You my wife. Girl, what you gonna do? Welcome back to Church Girls Wanna Get Married Too. My name is Giannis. We are doing book mass from my book, 23 Times So Guys You Might Meet on Social Media. If you have not subscribed to Church Girls Wanna Get Married, please be sure to do so. Please be sure to thumbs this video up. Share this out. Tell your girlfriends about Church Girls Wanna Get Married Too. We're trying to get all church girls married. So, from my book, from the section called Mr. Bates, B-A-I-T-S. Things men say and do to bait foolish women. And because you might be a foolish woman, you will fall for Mr. Bates. In this instance, Mr. God, that you're my wife. If you've been in church any length of time, you have met this guy. In the world of social media, Mr. God said you're my wife is more prevalent because males can jump in your inbox and say, Sister Watermelon, the Lord told me that you are my wife. Many desperate women have fallen for this trick. However, Women who are wise, because they pray, seek the Lord, and pray in the Holy Ghost, will not fall for this trick. Princesses, any man can come up to you in church, out and about, or on social media, and say, God said. It is your responsibility to check what they are saying against what God has spoken to you. This one trick of men coming up to you and saying, God said you're my wife, has got many Christian women in trouble. For this reason, we need to be prayerful as we wait to be found by our God ordained husbands. Note, waiting on God for our husband is not passive, but it is active. I will write more extensively about this soon. How is it that God told Mr. God said, you're my wife, that you're his wife, but the Holy Spirit didn't reveal that he is your husband to you? Many women in church accepted marriage proposal from men who claim God said only to get married and realize that God did not say. Furthermore, I am so against praying that God show me who my husband is. I can't tell you the countless women who have claimed God said to them that brother love was their husband. Yet, 
he married another sister. Somebody is lying on God to love. What difference does it make if God shows you who your husband is? This is all emotionalism because your heart is attached to someone. Instead, why not thank the Lord daily that you and your husband will cross paths and he will find you? Here's a brilliant idea. Why not pray and ask the Lord where you need to be so that you can cross paths with your husband so he can approach you? In other words, ask the Lord to help you to reposition yourself. Even though I am not for meeting one man and assuming that he is the one, but hey, it all begins with the conversation. Additionally, I find that some men use this as a weapon. God told them that you are their wife, so you must marry them. How controlling and forceful is that? I know sisters have missed out on great guys because they say God told them Brother Sexy was there. The end. One to three types of guys you might meet on social media. My book, excuse me, is available on my blog at JaniceHiltonBlog.com or on Amazon. In this section, in Mr. Bates, we have God said, you're my wife, Mr. Jet Setter, Mr. Hookup, Mr. I'm Hungry, Mr. I Need, Mr. Celibate, Mr. Credit, Mr. Contract, Mr. Father and Son, Mr. Vacation, Mr. Motorcycle, Mr. Jim Rat, Mr. Twins, Mr. Money Man, Mr. Big Girl Lover, Mr. Extravagant, Mr. White Boy Loves Black Woman, Mr. Red Carpet, Mr. Pilot, Mr. Fat Fatten You Up, Mr. Uniform, Mr. Virgin, Mr. Well Groom, Mr. Looking for a Mother for My Children, Mr. Nerd, Mr. Shoot Your Shot, Mr. Tattoos, Mr. Fraternity. All in 23 types of guys you might meet on social media. I just want to remind you that this book is not about online dating. However, it is about being open and available to possibly meet someone on social media. We spend a lot of our times on social media, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. We spend more time on social media than we spend going out meeting people. I still prefer to meet people the old-fashioned way. And I told you guys... I met my husband at a networking event in less than a year he proposed. But because we spend so much time on social media, why not be open and make ourselves available to meet someone on social media or wherever, at the pharmacy, at the supermarket, at the gym, at the bus stop, on the train. Just be open, be available. And if you have been believing God for your husband and you haven't met him yet, I have a video coming on that, how God told me that my husband was held up. And I prayed. And a year later, I met my husband. God told me in November 2010 that my husband was held up. I prayed and I met my husband a year later, November 4th. 
So I'm going to be doing a video on that, that if you've been praying and you've been believing God for your husband or for anything and you haven't received it yet, it's a possibility that your the manifestation to the prayers you've been answered have been held up. And we need to pray and bind the devil and rebuke the devil and command the devil to loose his hold on our blessing and on the manifestation of what we have been praying and believing God for. I absolutely love you. I absolutely adore you. Thank you so much for your love and support over the this time that I've been on YouTube, remember my book is available on my blog. And Merry Christmas. It is a Christmas season. This is why we're doing book mass, book mass for Christmas. So I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. And remember, beware of Mr. God say you're my wife. Bye, girl. Love you. Bye-bye.